Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we're back for another brand new video and it's a video that's uploaded on a Monday and when there's a video uploaded on a Monday that usually means something isn't it quite right? And unfortunately that is the case of why we are here today. Now if you've ever seen this channel before or if you've ever seen videos in the past you'll see that I try and keep them light hearted, I try and have a bit of fun, I try and make you laugh with my attempted jokes and yes I'm saying attempted jokes because 90% of them, none of them actually land, but we try and keep things light-hearted and have a wee bit of fun, but we, we can't really do that the day, and this is one of the ends where we have to kind of veer and go the other way, because again, I know a lot of people rely on this channel for the Rangers news and Rangers updates, and there's a lot of stuff going on there now, you've probably seen by the title, you've already clicked on today's video, you know we are here to talk about Jordan Jones and George Edmondson be, both sorry, being suspended for the football club and there's this out there and this out there so I thought the day we'll try and break it down and react to it as much as we can on the information that's actually out there. Now just in case you've heard all that and said CG what are you actually talking about? Why are Jordan Jones and George Edmondson suspended for the football club? What's that title all about? Well they have been suspended pending an investigation and breaking COVID rules. And the rules or regulations, if you want to say it that way, that they apparently broke was the fact that the two of them attended a private gathering late last night. Now, you might look into that gathering and because it's not in their household and say, aye, but it could have just been a couple of people. But for me, I don't care if it was a party of 150 people or a party of eight people. Rules are rules and the rules have been put in place to protect our football club. So respect the club, respect the badge, respect the fans and follow them, didn't care how many people was there. And before we go any further and go down and what does this mean and actually discuss the facts and rubbish the BS that's getting flung out there right now, let's read directly from Rangers Football Club because this is their statement on what has actually transpired. We can confirm that both players will be suspended pending an internal investigation. On the instruction of Dr. Mark Waller, the players will also self-isolate for 14 days. Now the marketing director at Rangers Football Club, Mr. Stuart Robertson, had this to say. The chairman, Douglas Park, Ross Wilson, Stephen Gerrard and I discussed this matter as soon as it was brought to our attention. We are completely aligned in our action and the standards that are being set at Rangers. We will not tolerate behaviour that does not follow these standards and it is totally unacceptable for any of our players to be involved in anything that puts at risk the excellent protocols that have been put at place at Rangers, end quote. And that right there is exactly what needed to be said and I'm so damn proud of the club stepping right into the front line, addressing it, confirming it and controlling the circumstance and the situation right Frickin' there. Because if our football club wasn't so quick and efficient in what it had just done, and if these two players did come back into the training centre and start mixing it around, and whether they have it or not, by the way, is completely irrelevant. They still broke the actual rules, whether they're testing negative or not. If they came back into the training centre and mixed it around, that would have been devastating. You would have seen games postponed and all that malarkey. But given the fact that it happened late last night, Rangers have already addressed it. And the most important piece to take away with this, by the way, is the two players that we're here to talk about haven't been back in to the training centre as the players have a day off today as confirmed yesterday after the win over Kamarnock by Steven Gerrard. And that right there is absolutely massive to remember and should silence all the moon howlers that's begging and pleading and praying for Rangers to have games postponed. That will not happen, people, because it doesn't need to be happening. The two players that broke the rules will be severely punished, I imagine, for Rangers, but more importantly, haven't put our football club or the Scottish game in jeopardy by getting back involved and getting involved in training. Both of them are housebound, self-isolating for 14 days and they haven't been back in since breaking the rules and that is the biggest takeaway in my opinion from this. Didn't get caught up in the BS and the, the bait and the, the tears for rival fans. It's not been able to mix anywhere so there'll be no postponements or anything like that. Now, am I sitting here saying that Rangers shouldn't be punished at all based on what's actually happened today? Obviously not, people. That's just not the way it's going to work. Whether it is these two players going out here making two incredibly stupid and selfish decisions or not, they still represent Rangers. They're still a part of the team. So Rangers will be punished and I imagine it will be a fight. That if it was me it was in charge, I'd be making sure Jordan Jones and George Edmondson's wages paid for said fine because it's their 
actions. But aye, that's the, the punishment I think is going to come from the SFA on this issue. I think it's going to be a fine. Addressing Jordan Jones first, you all know I was backing and praying and hoping that Jordan Jones would get a chance. Hell, look at me in that Motherwell game. I was at cloud nine because that is the Jordan Jones I know that is capable of putting up performance when he's on the park and his mindset's right. But... He's just went ahead and absolutely screwed it now. I don't imagine we'll ever, ever see Jordan Jones again. And if he's going to go out and make those decisions when the team's doing all that and playing the way that they are, he, sh he shouldn't. And that hurts me to say because I would really back Jordan Jones. I've heard he's back for so long, but I that's... He's, he's ruined it, people. And someone else, I'm even more disappointed. As disappointed as I am with that, I can't even put any words how disappointed that I am in George Edmondson. I thought this guy had that up here and was going to be a player for us. But the fact that he's went ahead and made this type of decision is absolutely baffling. So disappointed in George. Truly expected mere for him. And it truly is just unneeded drama and unneeded negativity towards the football club that is just absolutely playing at such a high level. It's making us so proud and so happy to have two players go out there and break the rules. Again, we don't know if it was a massive party or a smaller party, but to me, it's irrelevant. Rules are rules. You've got to follow them. The fact that they broke the rules says it all for me. Now, you're talking about what potential punishments you could have. I personally think Jordan Jones's time at the football club is done. He is under a short-term contract. I don't ever, ever see him playing again when this is all said and done. He's had his chances now. Even I can admit that, and I've begged and pleaded for the guy to get on the actual part. But George Edmondson is a weird one because there is such high potential there and he is obviously still such a young lad. Could there be a case where you punish him maybe by playing him with a... I, mean, I wouldn't even say playing him with the youth because we've got such a good youth team and I don't even think that would be right to put him down there. Do you loan him out? Do you give him a chance to go out there and prove himself? Or do you just take a step back, cut ties with both of them because they've went ahead and made these incredibly stupid and incredibly selfish decisions? As I'm currently recording today's video, we don't have the answers to that just yet, but it will be very interesting to see the severity of these punishments handed out by Rangers onto Jordan Jones and George Edmondson. Whether they test positive or negative to me is completely irrelevant. The rules were put in place to protect our football club and they went ahead and broke it so the damage is done in my personal opinion. But from the Rangers side of things, completely proud and happy with the way they handled this. Getting out early, stopping it in the tracks and stopping it before it could ever become an issue or a problem for our first team and our squad this year. Stopping and protecting the momentum that we've built Fair play to Rangers getting out there and I will all have our eyes open to see these punishments handed out. But before we actually wrap up today's video, I just want to ask you what your thoughts and opinions are. Not only on the incredibly stupid and selfish actions by these players, but what do you think the punishment should be? While you guys and Rockies get involved in the video, I will jump over to Twitter. Now the first one comes in from Bungani Cartel and he writes in, removed from all team activity and sold in January. Potentially putting the entire squad at risk pure out of selfishness is not on, in my opinion. CJ, and it's hard to argue. Luke Allen writes in Craig, it's disgusting. Jones is finished after that. Not too sure with Edmondson. He should have behaved better, but he's younger. But the two of them should be ashamed of themselves. I'm absolutely raging. Literally just seen this. Craig writes in sack both. Thankfully, they'll not be missed and it'll be a send message. Or it'll be a send out of a message to the rest of the squad to make sure not to make the same mistake. Balloons. The pair of them, CJ. Chris McLaughlin writes in regardless of Jones' previous issues with Gerard, this offence is too serious with potential consequences too high. Uh, both should be sacked or sold at the quickest opportunity. CJ. Goshi writes in we are at such a good stage of our season and playing so well. Such a positive feel around the club and they too knew the consequences and have dented the positivity around the club. Get them sacked and make sure they never wear the Rangers jersey again. Stephen writes in both have to go in January. Things like this can jeopardise all the good work we have done so far this season. Brian writes in a season that this is important and they do this. Wash my hands of the both of them. Not like they haven't had warnings previously with this happened with other clubs. Spot on there, Brian. And the last one we'll read out in tonight's video comes from Kevin Murphy and he writes in disappointed in Jones. Felt he was getting his Rangers career back on track and now he goes and does that and could harm the club he 
loves, that's him putting them in quotes by the way, same with Edmondson, disappointed in him, best thing now is to terminate both the contracts and get them out of our football club, well, there it is ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you've heard my opinion on it, I'm bitterly, bitterly disappointed, but happy with the way Rangers have handled the actual decision, and you've heard what the people's had to say as well, if you haven't done so already, you know what to do by now, but as always, I've been TG Nova 92, thank you so much for watching, and bye.